Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments, where we use really cool object lessons that teach the truth about what matters most. Exactly. Except today, we're not going to do that. What? We've got something completely different lined up. What's that? Christmas party games. Christmas party games? I love games! It's that time of year where people are searching everywhere for new and exciting Christmas party games to spice up their church, school, or family gatherings. And so today we're taking a break from object lessons and showing five brand new Christmas party games that we invented ourselves. Awesome! Are these for kids? Kids or adults. Big groups or small. Now that's what I call creating some family moments. Exactly. So what are we waiting for? Let the games begin. Well, let's get right to it, shall we? First up is your basic minute to win it game called Don't Spike the Punch. And what you're gonna need is two yardsticks two punch bowls, although if you don't have punch bowls, any large bowl will work, and a box of large nails. The bigger, the better, so they look like spikes. You can use the smooth kind if you wanna make it easy, or you can use rougher nails if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging. Place the bowls on a table. Place a yardstick over the top of each bowl. Set a small pile of nails next to each bowl, and then have participants take turns competing against each other by seeing how many nails that can stand up across the yardstick within 60 seconds. Any nails that drop into the bowl must be subtracted from your standing total when the time runs out. If you want to make it more challenging, use those rough nails. Or if you're using the smooth nails, you might want to tape off a little boundary line so the nails get a little bit more crowded on the yardstick. Either way, it's lots of fun. Player with the best score moves on, the other player is eliminated. Keep playing until there's only one player remaining who will be declared the winner. Game number two is called Wrapping Paper Airplanes. What you're gonna need is a roll of Christmas wrapping paper, a pair of scissors, and a large Christmas wreath, or a hula hoop will work as well. Pass the scissors and wrapping paper around and have everyone cut off a piece of wrapping paper. Participants are to fold their piece of wrapping paper into a paper airplane. And if necessary, the host may actually instruct the group on how to make a basic paper airplane. Once all planes have been constructed, have the host stand in front of the group, holding up the Christmas wreath. Participants form a line and take turns tossing their plane through the wreath. If they miss, they sit down. If they make it, they go to the back of the line. With each additional round, the host takes a step back farther, making the tosses harder and harder to complete. Keep playing until all participants have been eliminated except one, who will be declared the winner. Game number three, let's get frosty. What you're gonna need is a bag of marshmallows, a pair of safety goggles, and a hat that sits on top of someone's head and can easily be knocked off, preferably a top hat like Frosty used to wear. Select one person to be Frosty. Place the hat on Frosty's head, goggles on the face, and sit Frosty in front of the group eight to 10 feet away. Then hand everyone else five marshmallows, otherwise known as snowballs. And when the host declares, let's get Frosty, participants will stand, spin around five times, sit back down, and then try to knock Frosty's hat off his head by tossing snowballs at him. However, there is one catch. Participants must use their left hand or opposite hand to throw. Frosty's job is to try to dodge as many snowballs as possible and keep the hat from falling off his head. If he's successful at keeping the hat on his head after all snowballs have been thrown, he gets to select whomever he desires to have the next turn at being Frosty. If he's not successful, Frosty has to do another round. Game number four is called The Year of the Toy. This is a great way to start off any party because it can be played individually or in teams of two to four players. Every player or team will receive a game sheet that lists 20 of the top most popular toys from the past, like the Barbie doll, Beanie Babies, the Nerf Ball, toys that everybody's familiar with. The second column lists three decades to choose from, like the Barbie doll, 40s, 50s, or 60s. Well, the host gets an answer sheet 
and the host will read off number one, the Barbie doll, and all players or teams need to select did that come on the market in the 40s, 50s, or 60s? Once everyone has made a guess and circled their answer, the host will reveal it was the 50s in this case. If they get it right, they get a point. There's one last column to fill out though. Now that we know it's the 50s, every player or team can guess what was the exact year. Once they've recorded their answer, the host will reveal the answer was 1959. Players or teams that get that right get three additional points. And so the host goes through the entire list and once it's all done, the player or team with the most points is declared the winner. Now you can formulate your own game sheet and answer sheet by researching old toys on the internet and then looking up the year they came on the market. Or if you really want to make it easy, just go to familymomentsfun.com where you can purchase a digital download for just $2.95 and print it out and be ready to roll. Either way, this is a great game for reminiscing and for starting conversations. And finally, game number five, the Christmas Match Game. This is another digital download game you can find at familymomentsfun.com or you can make it up yourself, but why bother when you can have all your party games solved for under three bucks? Simply download the game, print it out on your printer, and then cut out the entire set of 24 cards. Thoroughly shuffle the cards and lay them down face up on the table. Players take turns trying to combine two cards to form a two word Christmas item like candy cane or North Pole. Set a 30 second time limit per turn and the game is over when all cards are used or when no one is able to solve anymore. The person with the most correct answers is declared the winner. Seems easy, but it's actually pretty challenging. Good luck. So Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned about five brand new Christmas party games I'd never seen before, but they sure are fun. Exactly. And I learned that families that play together, stay together. Very good. Now, one of the reasons we didn't do an object lesson this week is because we're spending so much time preparing for next week's special Christmas episode, which you're absolutely gonna love. I can't wait! In the meantime, be sure to go to our website and check out our digital downloads. You can find them at familymomentsfun.com, where we also post a joke of the day. This month, we're featuring Christmas jokes. Exactly. Like, what kind of pictures do Santa's helpers take? Hmm, I'm not sure. If I were to guess, I'd say Elfies. Correct a mundo. So if you've got a favorite joke, go ahead and send it to us. Who knows, it may end up on our website. Now, let's get this place cleaned up before Mom gets home. Why don't you go grab that bag of marshmallows over there? No problem. Hey, Dad, I'm curious. Which of these five games were your favorite? <laughs> I would have to say it's that frosty one. What was that called again? It's called Let's Get Frosty. <laughs> We'll see you around.